Good evening. Hello. Welcome to a new class. My name good is sure. good, evening. good evening. My name is Javier Gomez, and this is basic number one, beginner one, right? Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Marlon. Hello, maybe. Chris, Ana Maria, welcome. Good Lisa. evening. Saul, welcome, Saul. Jose Armando, welcome. Welcome, Glenda. Carolina, hello, Hi. welcome. Welcome to the class. It's a pleasure to see you again. Good. Today we're, come on, Marlon, you can do it, Marlon. You can do it. The coffee is necessary. <laughs> okay. I'm too I, tired. I, I imagine, I imagine, yes. Today is very difficult, right? But look, here we are, ready for the class. Yeah. Me están usando una gripe, creo, y me están doliendo mucho. You know, the, Mario knows the solution. The solution is, Mario, tea, right? <laughs> so, Marlon, tea is necessary, right? Yes. Or, or a sopita, right? Tomorrow at lunch, then, you know. Okay. The chicken soup, teacher. Chicken soup, yeah. <laughs> chicken Good soup. evening. Good evening, Jorge. How are you? Nice. Nice. Okay, good. And now it's raining a lot, teacher. Ah, oh, really? Sorry to hear that. But you can hear. You can listen. Yes, yes. yes. No, no problem. No problem. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. Today we start with unit number two, right? Unit number two. The simple present. The simple present. Okay, give me a second here. Presentation. Yes, here, right? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Insafor, Inglés Corporativo, right? And Programa Nacional de Inglés para el Trabajo, online. Today is November the 7th, almost Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas, we wish, almost, almost, right? And this is class number six. Class number six, right? Good. And let me see, I have some messages today. We have some listeners. Hoy vamos a tener de oyente a Daisy. Okay. Daisy. Good. And sorry, I, I forgot. Perdón, alguien más me, me mandó un mensaje que iba a estar de oyente. Give me a second. Sorry. Perdón por el oso que me olvidó. Let me see. Okay. Ah, Claudia. Claudia is listening. Yes. Claudia va a estar de oyente nada más. Okay. Good. So let's begin. Simple present, affirmative and negative. Today, affirmative and negative, right? Okay. Let's start with the objective for today. Unit number two. The name of the unit is daily routines. Daily routine, right? Jorge, can you read the objective for this class, please? I will be able to uh, describe my job, position, and the activity that I perform every day at work. Thank you very much. Perform, que llevo a cabo, que realizo, right? Perform. What activities I do in my job, in my company, right? And what are the, what is my company? Mm, inversiones educativas, inversiones MR, Ayala y Alfaro, industrias farmacéuticas, eh, teleperformance, Bullet del Salvador, etc., etc. These are your companies, right? What activities I do in my company? What activities I do in Express El Salvador, Martel, in consultores? What, what activities I do there? And my position in my job, right? So this is the objective for this class. And to begin, we're going to discuss some um, some occupations in, in the companies, right? These are only examples, of course. Software engineer, interesting. Bookkeeper or accountant is the same. Tenedor de libros o contador, right? Bookkeeper. Human resources specialist. Mm, recursos humanos, right? Insurance agent. Agente de seguro, right? 
financial analyst, and digital marketing manager. This is very popular today, right? Marketing. Marketing is very popular, especially in the media, in las redes sociales, right? It's very important. So now let's read, let's read. I have a message here. Uh, Carolina says, ah, oh, okay. Good. Uh, Carolina is listening right today. Okay, good. Now let's continue. Let's read. If you don't understand a word, tell me, right? Si no me entienden una palabra o una expresión, stop me. Teacher, what was the meaning, right? How do you say software engineer in Spanish, for example, right? Okay, what does a software engineer do? A software engineer designs and develops different softwares that are programs, computer programs in the computer, right? I mean, computer programs, I'm sorry. <laughs> Excuse me. Computer programs, right? Those are the software. Bookkeeper. A bookkeeper keeps track, lleva control, lleva registro, right? Of the financial accounts of companies. Cuenta financiera, financial account. Human resources specialists. Know the policies, las políticas, and regulations involved in the management of employees, right? En el manejo de empleados. Human resources especially. Insurance agent. Help people and companies against financial loss. Personas y compañías contra la pérdida financiera, right? And manage risk. Manejo de riesgos. You know, in El Salvador, we have many companies, right? La Centroamericana, eh, Maf MAPRE, Etc. Et we have many companies. Okay, uh, that's insurance agent. Financial analysts help people in business company, right? Manage their finances. Como manejar las finanzas de las personas y los compañeros, right? Okay, then digital marketing manager. Create and advertise, publicita, publicitar, right? The company over the social media. You know, Instagram, Facebook, uh, YouTube, Snapchat, uh, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, right? So that's the social media, the social media. Today, remember, the television, almost anybody see the television. Ya casi nadie ve televisión, right? No newspapers. Today, only the cell phone, right? Only the cell phone. Okay. And so most of the publicity uh, is in the social media, in your cell phone. Yes, everything is there today. So this is a very important position, right? Jefe de Mercadeo Digital. No? It's important, yes. Okay, now please repeat after me. Repeat after me. Software engineer. Design and develop different softwares. Design and develop different softwares. Bookkeeper. Bookkeeper. Keep track of the financial accounts. Keep track of the financial accounts of companies. Human resources specialist. Human resources specialist. Know the policies and regulations. Know the policies and regulations involved in the management 
management of employees. Involved in the management of employees. Insurance agent. Insurance agent. Help people and companies against, contra, you know, against financial loss. Help people and companies against financial loss. Financial. And manage risks. Manage risks. Financial analyst. Financial analyst. Help people in businesses. Help people and businesses manage their finances. Manage their finances. Digital marketing manager. Create and advertise the company over the social media. Create and advertise the company over the social media. Okay, now we're going to read, right? But before we are going to take the attendance, uh, Ana Maria. Say present. Present. Brian. Christian. Here. Thank you, Chris. Um, Dagoberto. Present. Okay, thank you, Dagoberto. Gamaliel. Glenda. Present. Thank you, Glenda. Griselda? Present. Thank you. Welcome to the class. Eh, Jorge? Present. Thank you. Okay, let me see. Good. Now, eh, Josué Armando? Present. Thank you. Eh, Marcela. Marcela. Ernesto. Present teacher. Thank you, Ernesto. Welcome, Mario. Present teacher. Thank you, Marlon. Present teacher, here I am. Okay, good. Um, maybe... Present. Thank you. Ya está en casita, maybe. O todavía va de camino. Voy de camino. Ah, vaya, la voy a poner como oyente. Entonces, me avisa cuando llegue, por favor. Okay. Yes. Yo good. le aviso, sí. Ok, Gracias. thank you. Thank you. Otmar. Otmar. Saúl. Thank you, Saúl. Thank you and welcome. Right. Ok, now let's read together. Let's read together. Ana María, please. Oh, good. Give me a second. Uh, 
present a uh, Daisy. Yes, thank you, Daisy. Ya le tomé la asistencia, Daisy, tu como oyente. Yes. Okay. Um, Ana María, please, can you read the first example software engineer, please? Read. For the class. Software engineer, the steam and the the build develop de develop <laughs> different software. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Now, bookkeeper, uh, can you help me, Chris? Bookkeeper. Um. Software engineer. No, no, no. Bookkeeper. Go bookkeeper. Oh, sorry. Bookkeeper. Keep track of the financial account of companies. Okie dokie. Thank you very much. Now, Dagoberto, please. Human resources specialist. Human resources specialist. Know the policies and regulation involved in the management of employees. Okay, thank you very much. Employees, right? Thank you. Employees. Now, please. Thank you. Uh, can you help me, please, Glenda? Insurance agent. Help people and company engage financial loss and manage risks. Okie dokie, manage risks, right? Thank you. Now, can you help me, Griselda? Financial analyst. Financial analysts help people in business manage their finances. Finances, finances, finances. finances. Mm -hmm. finances. Okay, very good. Thank you, Griselda. Now, uh, can you help me, Jorge, please? Digital marketing manager. Digital marketing manager. Create in, uh, how you say? Advertise. Thanks. Creates and advertise the company over the social media. Okie dokie. You know, right? The social media. That is the internet, right? Internet. Okay. Any question, class? Any word that you don't understand? Questions? Questions? Okay. Notice that most of these occupations are technical occupations, right? And they are very common. Now, let's introduce the topic for tonight. We are going to introduce for more than a week the simple present. Well, two weeks. En dos semanas vamos a ver esto, okay? The simple present. And we are going to introduce with affirmative and negative statements. Affirmative and negative sentences, right? Como hacer oraciones afirmativas y negativas con el presente simple, okay? Good. Now. The simple present is one of the several forms of present tense, right? It's una de las tantas formas del presente simple in English. It is used to describe habits, right? Nos ayuda a describir hábitos, rutinas, right? Repeated events. And general true, right? Verdades generales. The simple present is simple. <laughs> simple, right? You just use the base form of the verb and a subject. I take, you take, we take, they take. And for the third person singular, we add an extra S at the end. So you don't say he take, no, we say he takes, she takes, Pirulais takes, my, my brother takes, my friend takes, etc., etc., right? Okay, so this is the concept. This is the definition of the simple present. Any question? Do you have questions? Oh, okay. No Good. questions. No <laughs> questions. Nice. Later. Remember, I will give you this presentation tonight in the WhatsApp group. The teacher sent this presentation tonight, right? So you can review. Pueden repasar, yes. Good. Now, let's start. Here in the manual, this picture is the manual. We have examples of affirmative 
sentences with the simple present. Okay, but I want to tell you something very important. Please pay attention. This is not the verb to be. Ya no estamos hablando del verbo to be. So verb to be. Goodbye for a moment. Goodbye verb to be, right? Nos despedimos del verbo to be, right? And we introduce a new topic. The new topic is, in this case, active, active, yes, active, right? The verb to be is passive. I am, you are, he is, passive. But when I say, I help you, I run, I drive, I swim, I speak, I sleep. So everything is related with an action. So the simple present is action, right? Okay, so here we have this example. I keep track. Llevo control, llevo registro, right? I keep track of the financial account. You know, you know the policies and regulations. We advertise, publicitamos, right? We advertise the company. They help companies against financial loss. So notice that here we have the subject, I, that here we, we manage the verb, in this case, keep, right? And also we manage the complement. Okay? The complement, right? Good. So uh, the same happened here. You know the policy. You is the subject. No is the verb. And the policies and regulation is the is the, the complaint, right? Good. Now let me see if you understand. Vamos a ver si entendimos un poquito. Uh, Griselda, help me, please. We advertise the company. Griselda, what is the subject? No, the subject, the subject, el sujeto, right? Ah, the subject. We. We, correct. Now, what the is subject. the verb? What is the verb? Advertise. Advertise. And the complement? The company. The company. Thank you, Griselda. Thank you very much. Jorge, in the next sentence, they help companies against financial loss. What is the subject, Jorge? They. They, correct. They is the subject. And what is the verb? Help. The verb is help. And finally, what is the complement? Company against the financial loss. Very good. Thank you very much. You see? It's not complicated. In my opinion, the simple present in affirmative. In affirmative. <laughs> it's not complicated. Subject, verb, and complement, right? Is, is regular verb? Regular and irregular verbs. Both. Ah, okay. Both. The okay. only difference, Jorge, eh, we're going to see in, in the next. Ya lo vamos a ver. Eh, the only difference is with third person singular, con la tercera persona singular, right? We say, eh, I, she helps. Eh, uh, Mario keeps tracks so we add an extra s but normally jorge it doesn't matter no importa si el verbo regular o irregular subject verb and complement subject verb and complement right okay good now let's continue i keep track of the financial account i is the subject keep is the verb and track of the financial account is the, the company, right? Okay, good. Let's continue, right? Now, we are going to analyze, we are going to analyze the use of negative statements. Negative statements, right? Okay? So, to, to work with negative statements, uh, we are going to introduce the use of 
auxiliary do and does. But for this, I need we make a comparison with Spanish. What is the difference between Spanish and English? Well, in Spanish and English, we don't use the auxiliaries. No, we don't need. It's not necessary. It's not necessary the auxiliary. And besides that, even we don't use. Sometimes we don't use the subject, right? Algunas veces ni el sujeto usamos nosotros, right? In Spanish. So basically, we use just a verb, right? Just a verb. Solo el verbo usamos, yes. For example, we say, eh, ayudo, ayudas, ayudamos, eh, ay ayudaron. So what do we use? Only the verb, solo el verbo, yes, only that. We can use the subject too. You can say, I, eh, yo ayudo. I can say that, yo ayudo. But it's not absolutely necessary. You can say, ayudo, right? So I'm talking about first person singular. Entonces ahí estoy hablando de la primera persona singular, ayudo, right? Segunda persona, ayudas. Tercera persona, ayudan. Ayuda, right? So in, in this case, we don't need auxiliaries. Mm -mm. In Spanish, it's not necessary the auxiliaries. No. We don't need. We only use the verb conjugation. The verb conjugation. Lo único que necesitamos es la conjugación del verbo. Only that. Como, comes, corre, corremos, corriste, correremos. Only that. Only that. But that's why it's, Spanish is more difficult. Right? Por eso es que el español es más difícil que el, que el inglés, porque el inglés es más sencillo, right? Ellos no se complican, no cambian el verbo. Solo usan auxiliares. Okay. Now, when do we use the auxiliaries? We use the auxiliaries in negative and in questions. Do we use the auxiliaries? Simple present. Estamos hablando del presente simple, right? Do we use the auxiliary in affirmative? No. In affirmative, no auxiliaries, right? In negative, yes. In negative, yes. So when I use that, for example, I use that with she, he, it, and all the singular forms. All the singulars. So you say, for example, she doesn't, she doesn't like, he doesn't like, he doesn't like. My brother, only one brother, singular, right? My brother doesn't, does not. My brother does not. My friend does not. Mario does not, you know? So all the singular, the student does not. The manager. So in all the cases, we use does for he, she, and it. Yes? Good. And we use do for I, you, in singular and plural, we, they, and all the plural, right? All the plural. So I do not, you do not, we do not, they do not. And my brothers do not. My students do not. You see? Okay, good. Now, in this case, excuse me, we are going to use this in, in these examples. Look, I do not keep track. So in this case, for example, uh, I... I use contraction, right? Notice I say, I don't. So what, what is the, the meaning of this case, don't? Don't equal to say, do not, right? Auxiliary do plus the word not. Do not. Don't, right? Okay. Good. I don't keep track. You don't know. We don't advertise the company. They don't help company. Okay, so in this case, we have 
is a little bit more complicated than the affirmative, right? The negative is a little bit more complicated. But let's see, let's analyze. We have the subject, I, you, we, and they. Those are the subject. What is the subject? The subject is the one that create the action. El que hace la acción, el que la, la desarrolla. The, the one that performs is the subject, right? And then we have the auxiliary. Don't. 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 And don't, right? That means do not, you know, right? And finally, we have the verb, right? The verb. Keep. No. Advertise. Help. Okay, so again, subject, auxiliary, verb, and complement. Subject, auxiliary, and the word not, of course, verb, and complement, right? So this is the simple present in negative, right? Remember, in negative. Questions? Don't worry, we're going to see examples, right? Ya vamos a ver ejemplos. Calmadito, todavía aquí solo es la introducción, right? This is only the introduction, only the beginning. <laughs> Saúl, questions? Saúl? No, teacher. No, no. Okay. Uh, I want to see the, the example. Ah, good, good. Let's, let's go to the example. Right? Good, good, no problem. Now. Uh, here we have the oscillator, right? For I, you, we, and they, we use do, right? Now, the example. Sí, sí. Yes, <sighs> yes, Marlon? Puedo quedarme de oyente en esta oh, clase. Yes, yes, no problem, no problem. Thank you, thank you. No, no problem, Marlon. Okay. Um. Okay, here. Now, let's continue, let's continue. Now here we have the, the, the structure, right? Subject, they, auxiliary, do not, equal to say don't, right? The verb work in this case, right? And the complement. They do, don't, sorry, they don't work at CESA. They don't work at CESA. Okay, this good is the teacher. Yes. Good night. Hello, good, good evening, uh, Marcela. Marcela, right? Hola, sí. Yeah, yes. Uh, me le voy a le voy a tomar asistencia, Marcela. Sorry. Welcome, welcome. Gracias. Sí puede participar, ¿verdad, Marcela? Mande, me diga. Puede participar, ¿verdad? Yes. Sí. Okay, good, good. Thank you. Thank you very much. Eh, Brian, ¿ya está con nosotros, Brian? Ot ¿Otmar? ¿Otmar? No. Teacher, creo que Otmar. Ah, sorry, perdón, perdón. Eh, Marcela, sorry. Le escucho, Marcela. El micrófono, perdón, se lo desconecté sin querer. <ríe> Me decía, Marcela, perdón. Le, le, ajá. Ingresará un poco tarde, Otmar ah, también. Otmar. Somos de la misma empresa. Ah, ok, good. Sí. Se quedaron trabajando, ok. No problem, no problem. Good, good. Thank you, thank you very much. Ok. Uh, let me see. Good. Now, let's continue. Now, here we have a conversation. And we are going to see some examples of affirmative and negative statements with the simple present in this conversation. Listen, please. 
Uh, Janet says, good morning, Cindy. How are you? And Cindy said, fine. I have many things to do this week. Mm -hmm. I have many things. Notice, please. Says, I have, right? Subject, verb, and complement, right? Simple present. Good. Let's continue. Really? Who is Katy? Katy Perry? <laughs> Who is Katy? Ah, the new secretary. Her schedule is very tight. Su horario es muy apretado. Her schedule is very tight. On Monday, she makes many phone calls. Aha. Uh -huh. On Monday, she makes. So, she. She is the subject, right? Mm -hmm. And makes is the verb. Notice that I don't say she make, no, she makes, right? Later, she writes, ah, writes, writes. Okay. She writes, reports about the production. Okay. And Janet says, and what does she do the other days? What does she do the other days? On Wednesday, Wednesday, sorry, she sends. Ah, she sends. She sends some emails. And she, uh, to the bookkeeper. And on Friday, she, she arranges. Arregla. O planea, right? Meetings. Some meetings. Good. And Janet says, she is so busy. Que ocupada, right? And on weekends? Saturday and Sunday? On weekends? Good. Now, not to the structure, right? Er Yes, yes. Uh, excuse me, I very I very problem with with Wi-Fi. Oh, sorry, Saul. Uh, now, I I see and only I listen. Yes. Only listen, okay. Good. Uh, uh minutes only, only minutes. Okay, tell me when you're ready, Saul. Tell me when you okay. are ready. Okay, good. Okay, thank you. No, thank, thank you, you, Saul, to, to tell me, please. Teacher, I, I got a question. Tell me, Chris. Uh, in, in the sentence uh, about Janet, mm -hmm. uh, we can read, and what does she do other days? Mm -hmm. um, my question is, can be the sentence in what she do the other days? Mm -hmm. My question is, why we got to, to do Das. Das. Uh, good question. Excellent question. I like it. Okay. Uh, the next unit, right? In la, in la unidad tres, right? We're going to see information question. Okay. Estas preguntas, eh, Chris, las vamos a ver en la otra unidad. But for the moment, you have a good question. Why do we use das? Okay. Why? Why? We use das. Because we are talking about the simple present. And it's a rule, right? It's a rule, eh, Chris, that we use auxiliaries in negative sentence in the simple present and in questions. Negative in question. Es una regla que en el presente simple siempre vamos a usar el do y el does in negative and in questions. It's a rule, right? It's una regla. It's absolutely necessary. Understand? If, 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 okay. if you don't use the auxiliary, you don't understand, right? Si usted no usa el auxiliar, el verbo do, 
no se va a entender si es en presente, pasado, futuro, no, no se entiende. So, for that reason, we use does, ¿no? Para hacerme entender que el verbo do está en presente, tenemos que usar el, el das en la pregunta. In the question. No in affirmative. In affirmative is no necesario. Only in questions. En, en negative, right? Uh, it's difficult to understand, Chris, because uh, we don't use this in, in, in Spanish, right? Nos cuesta entender un poquito, Chris, porque eh, nosotros en español no usamos el auxiliar. No es necesario. ¿Qué hace? Solo decimos, ¿qué hace? No decimos, ¿qué, qué das hace ella? ¿Qué das? <risa> no lo usamos en la auxiliar. ¿sí? No existe. Es más, si usted quiere traducirlo, no va a poder traducirlo porque en español no existe un equivalente. No hay equivalente. Yes. But in English, yes. Ahora en inglés, sí. Ahí sí es lógico totalmente. So, the use of, of auxiliary is to represent negative and questions. Entonces, el uso del auxiliar aquí, Chris, es para representar oraciones negativas y preguntas en el presente simple. ¿Ok? Only for that. Solamente ahí. Do you understand, Chris? Yeah, understood. Okay. Good, good. Pero, por supuesto, más adelante vamos a ver más ejemplos. Y usted va a decir, ah, para eso se usa el das, you know. Yes, but remember, this is English, no Spanish. Okay, es un tabú que tenemos que, que quitarnos también, ¿verdad? Que uh, no todo lo que está en inglés tiene un equivalente al español, o viceversa, right? No, no busquemos eh, palabras, eh, sino que significado sería, ¿verdad? Porque si no, nos va a costar un poquito entender que usamos estructuras diferentes en ambos idiomas, yes. Okay. Uh, oh, very good. Thank you, Mario, for the for the screenshot. Gracias por la captura ahí, Mario. Ahí está la conversación ya en el en los chat, en el chat. Okay, good. Now, let's practice the conversation, right? Let's practice the conversation. If no more questions. No more questions? No. No, no. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Now, So, repeat after me, please. Repeat after me. Good morning, Cindy. How are you? Fine. I have many things to do this week. I have many things to do this week. But Kathy is very busy. But Kathy is very busy. Really? Who is Kathy? Who is Kathy? The new secretary. Her schedule is very tight. Ske. Ske. Schedule. Schedule. Tight, tight. Su horario es muy apretado, right? Her schedule is very tight. Her schedule is very tight. On Monday, she makes many phone calls on monday she makes many phone calls later she writes reports 
about the production. Later, she read reports about the production. And what does she do the other days? And what does she do the other days? And what does she do the other days? On Wednesday, she sends some emails. I'm sorry. Okay. On Wednesday, she sends some emails to the bookkeeper. On Wednesday, she sends some emails to the bookkeeper. And on Friday, she arranges meetings. She arranges meetings. She is so busy, está tan ocupada, right? She is so busy. And on weekends? Good. Now, more fluid, right? More fluid. Now, listen and repeat, please. Give me a second. Uh, <laughs> very good, Mario. Mario is giving suggestion to... to to Marlon, right? Honey and lemon for Marlon, right? <laughs> okay, good. Now, ready? Repeat after me, please. Good morning, Cindy. How are you? Fine. I have many things to do this week. But Kathy is very busy. Really? Who is Kathy? The new secretary. Her schedule is very tight. On Monday, she makes many phone calls. Later, she writes reports about the production. And what does she do the other days? On Wednesday, she sends some emails to the bookkeeper. And on Friday, she arranges meetings. She is so busy. And on weekends? Okay, very good. Now let's practice the conversation. We're going to start uh, with Ana Maria, right? Ana Maria and Chris. Oh, give me a second. Okay. I almost, I get... Ah, good. Uh, Marlo, no, maybe, maybe. Thank you, maybe. Okay. Good. Now, give me a second. Okay, now. So, uh, Ana Maria, 
your Janet and uh, Chris, your Cindy, right? Okay, give me a okay. second. One, two, three, action. Good morning, Cindy. How are you? Fine. I have many things to do this week, but Kathy is very busy. Really? Who is Kathy? The new secretary. Her schedule is very tight. On Monday, she makes many phone calls. Later, she writes reports about the production. And what does she do the other days? On Wednesday, she sends some emails to the bookkeeper. And on Friday, she arranges meetings. She is so busy and on weekend. Okie dokie, thank you very much. Now, next one, please. It's going to be a, let me see, um, Dagoberto and Glenda, right? Dagoberto, you're Janet, Glenda, you're Cindy. Are you ready? Action. Good morning, Cindy. How are you? Bye. I have a many teeth. So the weekend, but Katy is very busy. Really? Who is Katy? Disney secretary. Here, Shirley is where Ty on Monday she made many phone calls. Later, she write report about the production. And what does she do the other days? On oh, Wednesday, she sends some email to the bookkeeper. Um, on Friday, she's already meeting. She's so busy. And on weekends? Okay, thank you very much. Arranges meeting, right? Arranges meeting. Thank you. Now the next couple is going to be Griselda and Jorge, please. Griselda, you're Janet. Jorge, you're Cindy. Good morning, Cindy. How are you? Fine. I have many things to do to do this week, but Kathy is very busy. Really? Who is Kathy? The new secretary. Her schedule is very tight. On Monday, she made many phone calls. Lady, she write a report about the production. And what do she do the other days? On Wednesday, uh, she sent some email to the bookkeeper. And, and on Friday, she arranges meeting. She's a boss in on weekends. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Good reading, right? But remember, this is schedule. Ske, ske, schedule. And this is busy. Busy, right? Okay, thank you, Jorge. And thank you very much, Griselda. Now we're going to have Josue versus, no, Josue versus, no, Josue and, and Ernesto. Okay, Josue, you're Janet. Ernesto, you're Cindy, right? Are you ready? One, <coughs> two, yeah. three, action. Josue, are Good you morning, ready? Cindy. Oh, How okay. are you? Fine, I had many teams to do this week, but Kathy is very busy. Next. Really? Who is Kathy? The new secretary. Her um, schedule is very tight. On Monday, she, she made many phone calls. Later, she writes a report about the production. And what doesn't she do the other days? On Wednesday, she sends some emails to the bookkeeper, and on Friday, she arranges meetings. She's so busy, busy, but <laughs> and you weekend. Okay, thank you very much. 
Very good. Schedule, busy, weekends, arranges. Mm, good pronunciation. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Now, uh, I'm going to have uh, Marcela. Marcela and Mario. Marcela, you're Janet. Mario, you're Cindy, right? Are you ready? Ladies ready, and gentlemen, directly from Hollywood, California, tonight we have Marcela and Mario. Action. Good morning, Cindy. How are you? Fine. I have many things to do this week, but Katie is very busy. Really? Who is Katie? The new secretary. Her schedule is very tight. On Monday, she makes many phone calls. Later, she writes reports about the production. And what does she do the other days? Uh, on Wednesday, she sends some emails to the bookkeeper, and on Friday, she arranged meetings. She is busy, and on weekend. Okay, thank you, and on weekend, you say? Okay, the girl is so busy, right? Thank you very much. Thank you, Marcel and Mario. Now I'm going to have a maybe... Maybe it's going to practice the conversation with uh, with Ana Maria. Sorry, Ana Maria, can you help me? Me ayuda, Ana Maria. Ya no tengo más participantes, sorry. Okay, so maybe you are Janet and Ana Maria, you're Cindy. Yes? Okay, okay good. Yes. One, two, three, action. Good morning, Cindy. How are you? Fine, I have many things to do this week, but Katy is very busy. Really, who is Katy? The new secretary, her schedule. Schedule. Schedule is very tight. On Monday, the on Monday she made many phone calls. Letters. She writes reports about the production. And when does she do the under dice? Hola, hola. Eh, Ana Maria? On Wednesday, mm -hmm. she sent some emails to the bookkeeper and on Friday she arranged meeting. She is she buys an um, on weekends? On week, a weekend. A weekend, weekends. Thank you very much, right? She's so busy. She's so busy. And on yes. weekends. Good. Now, let's go to the next part, right? Uh, how to make affirmative sentences with he, she, and singular nouns. Notice that we say in the conversation, she arranges. She makes. Right? So what we do here is we add an extra S to the verse. So we don't say she make, but we say she makes. He carry, but he carries. Cindy send, Cindy sends. It help, it helps. My boss talk, but my boss talks, right? So in all the sentences, we add an extra S, right? Okay, very good. Now, repeat us to me, please. Repeat us to me. She makes many phone calls. He carries boxes into the truck. Cindy sends reports to other companies. It helps workers be on time.
My boss talks about the new rules. Okay. Now notice the structure, right? It's the same, right? In affirmative. Subject, verb, and complement. The only difference here is that we add an S to the verb. We don't say she make, we say she makes, right? I can say I make, you make, they make, we make. But with she, we say she makes, he makes. Marcela makes, Ana Maria makes, maybe makes, you know? The student makes, my brother makes, Firulais makes, etc., etc. We are an S, right? Okay. Now, but what is the rule? What are the rules? ¿Cuáles son las reglas para agregarle una S al, a la tercera persona singular en el presente simple, right? Rule number one, this is the majority, right? We add an S to the base form. So we say make, makes. Send, sends. Help, helps. Talk, talks. But if the verb ends in S, si el verbo termina en S, CH, SH, X, or Z, we are going to add an ES. Brush, brushes. Watch, watches. Dress. Mira, termina en S. So we have ES, right? Vestirse, dresses. Fix, fixes. Okay? Good. Now, rule number three. Change the Y to I and add ES. Cry, <laughs> cry, you know. So we change the Y to I. Cambiamos la Y por la Y latina. And then we add ES. So cry, cries. I cry, you cry, she cries. He cries. Try. Notice. Tries. I try, you try, my brother tries, he tries, etc. Other example is, for example, uh, study. I study, you study, he studies, she studies, my sister studies, my son studies. Okay? Good. But attention and, 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 and attention, attention. What happens if the Y is preceded by a vowel? ¿Qué pasa si la Y es precedida de una vocal? For example, play. Do we change? ¿Cambiamos la Y? No. No, 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 no. Why? Because it's preceded by a vowel. Si es seguida de una vocal, here, for example, the A, we don't change the Y. Here, for example, the O, we don't change the Y, right? Si la Y va a preceder de una vocal, entonces no se cambia. Tiene que ir precedida de una consonante, right? Good. And finally, we have here the irregular, pero tenemos aquí unos irregulares, okay? Los que siempre salen del guacal, ¿no? Siempre hay un pelo en la sopa, como decimos, ¿verdad? Ah, pues estos son los irregulares. <ríe> los rebeldes. Do, does. You see? Go, goes. Have, has. Y el verbo to be, que ya lo vimos, que is. She is, he is, it is, right? Good. These are the rules, right? Estas son las reglas para agregarle eh, una es extra S a los verbos en tercera persona singular, en el presente simple, right? Good. Questions? O estamos en shock con estas reglas. <laughs> no questions? No questions. No questions. Okay, very good. Remember, I will... Difficult. No, of course. Yes, yeah. sí, sí, está un poco difícil porque hay que aprendérselos, Mario. We have to learn by memory. 
by memory. We have to learn by memory, right? These rules. Yes, it's difficult, I know. But, but remember this presentation, this PowerPoint presentation tonight in the WhatsApp group, I will send for you. So you can review, si pueden repasarlo, right? Good. Now, oopsie, excuse me. Yes. Now in negative sentences with the third person singular, we say, she doesn't make many phone calls. He doesn't carry boxes. Cindy doesn't send. He doesn't help. My boss doesn't talk. Okay, good. Pay attention. Number one, in negative, remember, we have the structure. The structure is subject, auxiliary, And verb, right? This is the structure. But in this case, we don't use don't, but we use doesn't, right? What is uh, doesn't in this case? Doesn't is equal to say does not, right? Does not. Doesn't equal to say does not. It's not negative, right? And again, it's absolutely necessary to use the auxiliary, right? Repito, en español no lo entendemos porque nosotros no tenemos el auxiliar, pero en inglés sí es indispensable, right? Okay? Good. And one more thing. Uh, this question is for you, right? Le voy a dejar esta pregunta a ustedes. Vamos a ver si me ayudan. Why we don't use an S to the verb, right? ¿Por qué no decimos she doesn't makes? ¿Por qué? Porque el auxiliar lo sustituye. Because of the auxiliary. Yes. So, when we use auxiliary, it's not necessary to add an S, right? Remember this. Remember this. This is forever, right? Que esto se les quede para siempre. Every time we use the auxiliary, we don't change the verb. Cada vez que usemos un auxiliar, no vamos a cambiar el verbo. ¿Sí? Es una regla general. Cada vez que usemos el auxiliar, no vamos a cambiar el verbo. ¿Ok? Good. So we don't say she doesn't make. We say she doesn't make, right? Okay. Thank you very much. Now, let's continue, right? Now, here we have the auxiliaries in negative and question, right? For I, I use do. For you, I use do. We and they, right? Do. So I say, I don't, you don't, we don't, they don't. For he and she, we say, and it, we say does. He doesn't, she doesn't, and it doesn't, right? Notice the structure. My boss doesn't talk about the new rules. We don't say my boss don't. No, my boss doesn't. He doesn't. She doesn't. Okay? Any question? Good. Here we have the general view. Aquí tenemos... Una vista general, miren. Observe, analyze, please. I, you, we, they. And then we say make. She, he, it, or my friend. Or Oscar, right? Makes. We don't say make, we say makes. Okay, any question? 
Questions, questions? No, okay, let's continue, right? Now in negative, look. I don't, you don't, they don't, Sylvia and Candy don't. She doesn't, he doesn't, it doesn't, my friend doesn't, and Oscar doesn't, and Mario doesn't, and Ana Maria doesn't, right? <laughs> you see? This is negative. Affirmative. Negative. And again, notice that when I use the auxiliary, it's not necessary to say makes. No. Only make, right? Why? Mario says because of the auxiliary. So again, one more time. Every time we use the auxiliary, we don't change the verb. No transformation of the verb, right? Good. Questions? No questions? Okay, continue. Right now, we, we went to only theory, right? Hoy sí, ya, solo pura teoría, ¿verdad? Una, más de una hora de pura teoría, okay? <laughs> but I repeat, do you have questions? Any question? No. No question. Okay, very good. So, again, the structure is subject, verb, and company in affirmative, right? In negative, subject, auxiliary, and verb, right? Now it's time to make some exercises. Good. Complete the statement and circle the correct simple present tense form, right? Okay, let's start with number one. Um, can you help me, please? Maybe? I need a car or I need a car? I need a car. I need a car. Cling! Correct. Okay, next one, please. Uh, Mario, my brother Juan or my brother Juan's? My brother Juan's, those shoes. Excelentoso, Mario. Okay, now, Ernesto, please. Doralicia have or Doralicia has a new jacket? Doralicia has? Okie dokie. Thank you. Number four, please. Eh, Marcela? Yes, teacher. Number four, please. Like or likes? Like. Okie dokie. Good like. Good restaurant. Excelentoso, right? Now, number five, please. Eh, Josue. One or ones, Josue? Mr. Castillo Gaitán, 10-4, 10-4, Do you copy? Do you copy? Okay, Jorge, please, help me. Number five. Doralicia one or Doralicia once? Once. Okie dokie. Excelentoso. Asombrante, right? Yes, once. Now, class, repeat after me, please. Repeat after me. I need a car. My brother wants those shoes. Wants those shoes. Doralicia has a new jacket. We like good restaurants. Doralicia wants a motorcycle. 
Good. Any question? Now, Griselda, please read the five sentences. Only you. Only you. Ready? Read, please. Here, Alicia wants a motorcycle. The five. Las cinco oraciones. Yes, please. Ah, las cinco. Okay. Yeah, please. <laughs> I need a car. My brother wants those shows. Dora Lisa has a new jacket. We like good restaurants. Dora Alicia wants a motorcycle. Excellent, right? Esta Dora Alicia es algo atrevida. Ahora quiero una moto. Eh? <laughs> okay, good. Thank you very much, Griselda. Now let's go to the next one. Number six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven, right? Glenda, please. My parents, number six. We like. Like, right? Thank you. Number seven, please. Can you help me? Christian, please, Chris. Hi. Number seven. Need or needs? Uh, needs. Needs, right? Yes, because it's la hermana de Maria, Maria's sister, right? Maria's sister. We saw the possessive now, right? Ya vimos los nombres posesivos. Creo que ya dominamos este tema. Maria's sister. Needs. Thank you, Chris. Thank you very much. Now, Ana Maria, please. Number eight. Likes. Likes. Correct, right? Very good. Eh, quiero ver si hay estudiantes que no estaban. Brian? No, no está Brian, yes. Odmar? Okay. Good. Now let's continue, right? Number nine. Uh, can you help me, please, again, maybe? Number nine. My mom needs or my mom needs? My mom needs. Needs, right? My mother. No sé para qué quiere corbata, quizás. Pero, bueno, okay. <laughs> Number <laughs> ten. We don't know, right? Number ten. Uh, Mario, please. You. You need ties. You need ties. Correct. And number 11, please, Ernesto, Mr. Mulgar. Lawyers need or needs? Lawyers uh, need. She need. Work. Yes. I like your pronunciation because they liar. Mentiroso. <laughs> no, no, no sé si... Sí, abogados aquí, ¿verdad? No quiero ofender, pero... <risa> Liars, no, no es... Lawyers, lawyers, right? Lawyers, pero, pero es lo mismo. <risa> lawyers and liars. <risa> ok, good. Any question? Now, repeat us to me, please. Repeat us to me. My parents like boats. My parents like boats. Maria's sister needs a bicycle. Maria sister nice and um, um, by Sico. He likes your pants. He likes your pants. My mom needs ties. My mom needs ties. You need ties. You need ties. Lawyers need suits at work. Lawyers need suit at work. Thank you very much. Now, uh, let me see. Ernesto, please, can you read all the sentences for the class again? Repeat one. Please. Uh, my parents like poops. Maria's sister uh, needs a bike. He likes your pants. My mom needs... Ties. You need ties. Lawyer need sit at work. 
Thank you. Suits, right? Trajes, you know, suits. And I, Ernesto, like you say, baica. La baica. <laughs> I remember when I was young, right? When, hace muchos años, cuando era joven, aún, <laughs> eh, decíamos la baica, you know, it's bicycle, right? Bicycles. Mm. And there is a song, right, of Queen. Mario, no sé si usted ha escuchado la canción de Queen que se llama Bicycle. Bicycle. Sí, buena canción. Yeah. The, the Queen, the Queen, right? Okay, thank you, Ernesto. Thank you. Good pronunciation. Thank you very much. Now let's continue, right? Okay, good. Now we're going to practice this in groups, right? Practice this in groups. So what are you going to do? I need you change these sentences from affirmative to negative. Affirmative to negative, right? Okay, good. Make the screenshot, please. Hagámosle captura de pantalla porque nos vamos a ir a trabajar en grupo. Yes. So what are you going to do? These sentences are in affirmative. So what are you going to do? Change the affirmative to negative. And remember to use the auxiliary don't and doesn't, right? You name a secretary. Me van a nombrar un secretario en o secretaria en cada grupo. Y solo esa persona va a escribir. Los demás van a ayudarle nada más. Okay? Good. I have a question here. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Marcela. Yes, thank you, Marcela. Ya, ya nos envió Marcela la captura de pantalla ahí, ¿verdad? Los que no lo han logrado capturar. Ok. Now let's work in groups. Pay attention, please. Group number one. Group number one. Ana María, Glenda, Griselda, Mario. Saúl solo está de oyente, así que, ¿verdad? Ahí va a estar acompañando a Nama. Group number two. Eh, Daisy, está de oy oyente nada más. Uh, Josué, Carolina, solo oyentes tengo aquí. ¿verdad? Entonces vamos a pasar a alguien del grupo uno, permítame. Vamos a pasar a Mario, al grupo, al grupo dos, Mario, ¿ok? Casi solo tengo oyentes en el 2. Vaya, Mario, ya lo pasé el 2. <ríe> ok. Now, group number 3. Eh, Chris, Dagoberto, Jorge, Marcela, en Ernesto. Este grupo está pesadito, ¿verdad? Yes. Ok, again. Group number 1. Ana María, Glenda, Griselda. Pero permítame, ya, ya me quedé mal con el grupo 1. Pero de Cris, Dago, Jorge Alberto, Maris. Sí, perdón, Mario, lo voy a mandar al grupo 1 mejor. Quiero ser el más equitativo los grupos aquí. Ok, good. Otra vez, la última vez. Grupo número 1. Ana María, Glenda, Griselda y Mario. Grupo número 2. Eh, Josué, Mario. And maybe, ¿verdad? Los demás están de oyentes. En group number three, Francisco, Jorge, en Marcela, right? Igual quedamos. Bueno, pero ahí, Dagoberto, Jorge y, y, y Marcela, pues ahí me echan la mano en el grupo tres, ¿ok? Ready? Here we go.
Daisy, si gusta, conéctese al grupo. Teacher, cuando le di unirme, me sacó. Va, permítame, voy a ver. Voy a... Creo que es por la zona. Sí, sí, pero va a participar, Daisy, o solo va a estar de oyente. De oyente, teacher. Ah, va, entonces la voy a mandar al grupo, al grupo 3, la voy a mandar. A ver, pruebe ahorita. Thank you. Pruebe ahorita, Daisy. Debía aceptar. Sí, no, no la manda al grupo, ¿verdad? Fíjese que me aparece con doble doble eh, cámara aquí, no sé por qué. Bueno, vamos a, la, voy a mover una vez más, Daisy, permítame. La voy a pasar al grupo 2. Ok. A ver si se puede ahora, inténtelo, ya le digo. Ahorita. No me sale, teacher. Qué raro, ¿verdad? Y ahora ya solo tiene una cámara. Bueno, intentemos la última vez. Si no, pues ni modo, me espera a los demás a que terminen el ejercicio. Okay. Vamos a intentarlo una vez más. Permítame. Okay. Ah, ya sé, permítame, aquí está. Ya encontré cuál es el error, permítame. Es que está no asignada. La voy a asignar al grupo 3, vamos a ver si se puede. Ahorita. Marlon. Dos. 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 Eh, el verbo cambia, ¿verdad? Porque has, have, has, has viajado. Uh -huh. A big house. house. Así, ¿verdad? House. A big house. A big house, sí, ¿verdad? Sí. Vaya, el otro es igual, es primera persona. I, need. I don't need a white shirt. A white shirt. A... No, es que esa es la que tengo duda, fíjese. Es lo que tengo oído. Ajá, por, porque ajá, sí, es ¿no? un caso especial, dijo él. ¿verdad? ¿Se acuerda que dijo que era el caso especial ese? El mm. has por have. Ah, Pero sí. No me acuerdo. The store has not, no me suena, pues. Pero, no. Ok, hello, hello. Hola, Hola oh, teacher. Mario, Mario the, the store is singular, right? ¿Qué mata? The store is singular, la tienda es singular. So we use doesn't, the store doesn't, right? Ah, the store does. The store doesn't. doesn't. Igual sería en el caso con Juan, ¿verdad? Ajá. Uh -huh. But the verb changes, right? Pero el verbo, entonces lo regresamos a su forma original. ¿Sí? They don't have. Correct. The store doesn't have, right? Doesn't, doesn't have. have. Mm -hmm. La cuatro, ¿cómo sería? A store has, a store, a store, the store. The store. La, la tres. A ver. Ah, la tres o la cuatro. ¿Dónde la tres sería they want. La tres dijimos no. que era they want. They want not. Ajá. They want not, not not choose. Exacto. Excuse oh, me for the es, interruption. No, Excuse es a utilizar el doesn't. Is Hola. Don't o doesn't. Pero es que en la, en, la, no. en la tres podés usar ¿verdad? una contracción. No, de pero ahorita doble estamos viendo el doesn't. Don't. La, la diéresis y la T, want. Espéreme, espéreme. Antes que nos confundamos, que mejor hable el mero mero. Por favor, el teacher. El mero ¿Es mero el teacher, Jorge. Repeat, please? No, el mero right, mero okay. Jorge. No, Va, es they, they don't. I don't, you don't, they don't. 
they don't like pupusa, for example. They don't, they don't like pupusa. But if you say the store, number four, right? La número cuatro is the store doesn't. Pero el verbo regresa a su forma normal y no decimos doesn't has, decimos doesn't have. ¿Ok? ¿Understand? No. No. Sí y no. O sea, está sí complicado. No. Yes. Okay. Es que solo es de buscarle cuál es el don't y doesn't. Ajá, correct. Solo vamos a determinar cuándo es don't y cuándo es doesn't, porque toditas llevan doesn't y don't. Toditas llevan. Uh -huh. Sí. Solo van a decirme ustedes cuándo es don't y cuándo es doesn't. Solamente. Y el verbo se regresa a su forma normal. Ahí es sin complicar. Mm, ya me acordé. El yeah. teacher puso algo ahí de don't y doesn't cuando es I, you, we, they y plural. Ajá, y she, cabal. he, it y singular. Creo que ahí va. Yes. ¿Verdad? Yes, ah, okay. correct. Yes. Continue. Ok, ya, ya entendí. Ok. Verificamos entonces la uno. La uno es... Juan das en la big house. Uh -huh. La dos. Sí, ¿verdad? I don't, I don't. La dos, sí. La tres, they don't. La tres, they don't, sí. Ajá. La cuatro... Eh, don't, igual. Uh, no, doesn't. Es ah, it. Vale. Acordate, es una cosa. Sí, store. Es cierto, es cierto. La cinco es we don't. We don't, sí. La seis es. Espera, espera. Cinco dijimos we don't. We don't, sí. Ajá. La seis sería. Uh... Hey. Es tercera. Le voy a tomar un, un print. Yo creo que se puede enviar a cada uno, ¿verdad? En el chat de cada uno. No. No, pues, no lo guarda, no lo manda en el grupo. Uh. WhatsApp. O al WhatsApp. Uh -huh. Vaya, le voy a pasar. Sería the store. The store doesn't have those jackets, ¿verdad? There's a hacks checkers. Así, así quedaría, ¿verdad? Yes. Doesn't, doesn't have, ¿verdad? Porque ahí se cambiaría el has. Queda otra vez normal, dijo él, ¿verdad? Sí. Ah, teacher, que está con nosotros. <laughs> yes, it's true. It's totally correct, Mario. Ok, thank you, okay. teacher. Igual bueno, en la primera, teacher. Mm -hmm. Correct. Sí. Yes. Juan, Juan don't have. Siempre me ha dado problemas ese cambio. Today, hoy, hoy lo vamos a aclarar todo, Mario. Hoy vamos, sí. vamos a quedar <laughs> sin ninguna duda. <laughs> okay, okay, teacher. Thank you. We are ready. You're ready. You're ready. Okay, group number one, please. The secretary of no group number one, please. Group number one, please. Our representative of group number one. Nobody. Okay, group number two. So, group number two. Uh, number one, teacher. Uh, group number one. No, Mario. No, 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 number ah, one. Number one, yes. Center number one. Yeah, please. Juan, 
Juan don't have one big house. Don't, don't, a big house. House. don't have a big house. A big house. Mm, no lo sé, Rick. Don't. O doesn't. 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 Doesn't have. Doesn't, yes. right. Doesn't have. Re remember, remember this. I will copy here. Look. Oops, sorry. Look at this. Das is for he, she, and it. And yes. for all the singular. All the singular, right? Yes. Do is for I, you, we, we they, yes. and all the plural. Yes. Thank you. For example, number one, Juan is only one singular, he. So Juan doesn't, right? Okay. And number six, the doctors. The doctors is plural. So we say don't, right? Okay, good. Now, group number three, please. I need a white shirt at work. What is the correct sentence? Group, group two number three. three. Three, group number three. I don't need. Okay, I don't need a white shirt shirt at work a white shirt at work tengo la sensación que el grupo número uno no se puede en el número verdad ok es que a veces está en el grupo uno ah, pues, ¿cuál, cuál es el, el uno ok good group number one vaya le voy a poner fácil el grupo que no ha participado todavía No me pregunten a mí porque yo tampoco me acuerdo quién ha estado en el uno. They don't. Ajá, very good. Ya aparecieron. They don't. Black shoes. They don't. Black shoes. One black shoes. Falta el problema. Ah, one. Oh, excuse me. Uh -huh. Want. Black, black shoes. shoes. doki. Thank you very much. Group number two. The store has those jackets. The store has those jackets. Maybe. Ajá, Mario. Usted el vocero oficial, ¿verdad, Mario? Number two. El mero mero. Number one. No, no maybe. maybe. Group number two. Uh, Nosotros somos dos. De <risa> sur. Wait, wait. Entonces Mario, Mario se ha robado la identidad. Está bien que conteste Mario. No, no hay somos el tres, Jorge. Somos tres, ah, Jorge. Jorge, Jorge ah, está en otro lado ahorita. Es que como, como Lago contestó en el número dos, yo pensé no, que dijo era el dos. Tres. Él dijo grupo tres. Bueno. Bueno, cambien, cambien de presidente, Jorge, hay que. <risa> no hay problema, Jorge. Ok, continuo. Mario. The, okay. store, the store has the store, uh, doesn't have mm -hmm. those jackets. Doesn't have those jackets. Thank you very much. Now, Is group number, yeah, it's correct. Group number three, please. We don't. We don't. We don't raise want ties. red ties. We don't want, right? Want red ties. Red ties. Okie dokie. And finally, no, number six, I mean, right? The doctors wear white jackets. So group number number one, right? The doctor don't. The doctor or the doctors? Uh, doctors. Doctors. Don't. Uh, wear. Wear. With jack here. White jackets here, right? Here. here. Good. Thank you. 
Now, group number two. Uh, Millie's mom doesn't like old clothes. Doesn't like old clothes. No le gusta la ropita vieja, right? Nunca va a shopping center. Clothes, right? Okay, good. Repeat after me, please. Juan has a big house. Juan doesn't have a big house. Repeat, please. I need a white shirt at work. I don't need a white shirt at work. They want black shoes. They don't want black shoes. The store has those jackets. The store doesn't have those jackets. We want red ties. We don't want red ties. The doctors wear white jackets here. The doctors don't wear white jackets here. Millie's mom likes old clothes. Millie's mom doesn't like old clothes. Okay, very good. Now we're going to practice and uh, we're going to ask two students to help me, please. Eh, solo antes quiero mostrarles mi bebida para esta noche. El tradicional, look, frutzi. <laughs> Do you remember? <laughs> no me voy a creer, pero cuando estaba en la escuela ya había de estos, frutzi, yes. Buen apetito. <laughs> ok, good. No, Pensé I need que to... ya no existían. Todavía existen. Todavía existen. Hasta los Congelados. Oh, yeah, eran buenos, ¿va? <laughs> yes. Bueno, imagínense ustedes que estaban jóvenes y yo. Hace muchos años y todavía ya existían los frutsis. Yes. Gracias por lo de joven. Ya es como Your cipotones. Ok, now, please. Eh, I need Ana María. Ana María, you're going to read the affirmative. And Chris. Chris, you're going to help me with the negative. Ana María de afirmativo okay. and Chris de negativo. Ready? One, two, three, action. Juan has a big house. Juan doesn't have a big house. I need a white shirt at work. I don't need a white shirt at work. They, they want black shoes they don't want black shoes the store has those jackets the store doesn't have those jackets we want red ties. we don't want the red ties the doctors will white jackets here the doctors don't wear white jackets here mills mom lies old clothes mills mom doesn't like old clothes thank you very much thank you very much now notice the difference right notice the difference we use do or do not According to I, you, we, they, and plural, right? We use does not 
according to he, she, it, or singular, right? Remember that. Remember that. And uh, when we use third person singular, the verb doesn't change. Cuando usamos tercera persona singular, el verbo no cambia, right? We don't say Juan doesn't has. No, we say Juan doesn't have, right? Understand? Ma Mario, is it better now? Está un poquito mejor ahorita, Mario? Yes, teacher. Yes, yes, Thank you. Un... It's clear, right? It's un poquito más claro. Now we're going to see more material, right? Vamos ahora a ver otro material. Now pay attention, please. To introduce the topic, we're going to say what is the transportation in the United States, right? Pay attention, listen. Unit 6. My sister works downtown. Page 36, exercise 1, snapshot. Transportation in the U.S. The top eight ways to get to work. Listen and practice. 1. Drive. 2. Walk. 3. Take the bus. 4. Take the subway. 5. Take the train. 6. Ride a bike. 7. Take a taxi. Take a cab. 8. Ride a motorcycle. Okay, so which, which ways of transportation do you usually use? Can you tell me please, uh, Dagoberto, what transportation do you use to go to work? Do you walk? Do you ride a motorcycle? Do you ride a I bike? Drive. You drive, okay, nice. In the United States, drive is the most popular way of transportation. The second one is walk. Walk. Some people walk. I have a, a friend. Eh, the company is in front of his house, right? Tengo un amigo que la compañía donde él trabaja está enfrente de su casa. You just cross the street. <laughs> Very good. Nice, right? Okay, but we most have to cross the traffic, right? La mayoría de nosotros ni modo. Hay que ir en bus, en carro, en moto, pero siempre en tráfico, yes. Okay, now, uh, what about you, uh, Glenda? What do you use? Take the bus. You take the bus. Okay, nice. Nice. Good. Now, uh, Griselda, uh, yes, Griselda, right? What about you, Griselda? Griselda, do you take the bus? Do you drive? I ride a motorcycle or walk. Excellent. My is very, very close. Very close. Ah, okay. Very good. So, what kind of motorcycle do you have, Griselda? Yamaha. Yamaha. Okay, nice. You got, it's a good motorcycle. Be careful, eh? Con cuidado, porque ya sabe. Yes. <laughs> yes. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Now, let's go and check this. A conversation. Listen, please. Now listen to the audio, please. Mm, a little bit more, un poquito más. Okay, listen. Page 36, exercise two, conversation. Nice car. Listen and practice. Nice car, Jason. Is it yours? No, it's my sister's. She has a new job, and she drives to work. Is her job here in the suburbs? No, it's downtown. My parents work downtown, but they don't drive to work. They use public transportation. The bus or the train? The train doesn't stop near our house, so they take the bus. 
Okay, now listen again and repeat, please. Listen Page again. 36. Repeat. Nice car, Jason. Is it yours? No, it's my sister's. She has a new job, and she drives to work. Is her job here in the suburbs? No, it's downtown. My parents work downtown. But they don't drive to work. They use public transportation. The bus or the train? The train doesn't stop near our house. So they take the bus. Jason, is it... Now again, listen and repeat for the second time. Ready? Listen and practice. Listen and repeat. Nice car, Jason. Is it yours? No, it's my sister's. She has a new job, and she drives to work. Is her job here in the suburbs? No, it's downtown. My parents work downtown, but they don't drive to work. They use public transportation. The bus or the train? The train doesn't stop near our house, so they take the bus. Okay. Notice the use of the simple present, right? She has a new job. She drives to work. My parents work downtown. Negative? They don't drive to work. They use public transportation. Negative. The train doesn't stop. They take the bus, right? So these are affirmative and negative statement in the simple present, right? Now let's practice the conversation. Let's practice the conversation. Eh, nos quedamos con eh, Glenda. Glenda, right? Now Griselda, please. You're going to be Ashley. And Jorge, you're going to be Jason. Okay. So again, right? Uh, Griselda, Ashley, Jorge, Jason. Ladies and gentlemen, directly from Hollywood, California, Griselda and Jorge. Action. Nice car, Jason. It is yours? No, it's my sister. She has a new job and she tried to work. Is her job here in the suburbs? No, it's downtown. Uh, my parents work downtown, but they don't drive to work. They use public transportation. Uh, the bus and the train? The train doesn't stop near our house, so they take the bus. They take the bus. Thank you, Remy. They take the shoes on, right? 
Now, Jose, Jose Armando, please, you are going to be Jason. And Marcela, you're going to be Ashley. Are you ready? One, two, three, action. No. Can I start, Jason? No, if my sister. She has a new hub and she drives to work. Marcela? She is hub. Her in the boat. Survivor? Sober? Sobers? Sobers? No, it's downtown. My parent works downtown. By then, that's drive to work. They use public transportation. They bus or the train. The train. That's choose new car. Or Mar house. sorry, Mar Marcela, sorry. Doesn't stop. Doesn't, doesn't stop. Doesn't stop. Near, near or, or house. Near or near house. Or house. Doesn't stop near or house. So they tell the bus, the bus. The bus, the choose on, the choose on. The choose on. <laughs> okay. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Marcela. Thank you. Uh, now, and Josue. Thank you, Josue. Now, Marcela and, no, no, Ernesto and Mario, right? So, Ernesto, you're going to be uh, Ashley. And Mario, you're going to be Jason, right? Are okay. you ready, boys? One, two, three, okay. action. Nice car, Jason. It is your? No, it's my sister's. She has a new job and she drives to work. Is here a job here in the, the suburbs? No, it's downtown. And my parents work downtown, but they don't drive to work. They use public transportation. The bus or the train? The train doesn't stop near our house, uh, so they take the bus. Okie dokie, thank you. And now uh, I will help maybe, right? Maybe siempre se me queda solito, así que vamos a ayudarle. Yes, maybe you're going to be uh, Ashley and I'm going to be Jason. Ready? Action. Nice car, Jason. Is I yours? Is it yours? Is it yours? Mm -hmm. uh, no, no, Ashley. It's my sister's. She has a new job, a new job, and, and she drives to work. Is our hub I in the suburbs? Uh, no, it's downtown. My parents were downtown, but they don't drive the world. They has public transportation. The bus or the train? The mototaxi or the bus? <laughs> no, the bus or the train? The train that stood near her house, they take the bus. The bus, the bus, the bus. The bus. Okay, the bus. Thank, you. thank you very much, right? Now let's go to the truck. Oh, it's time, sorry. <laughs> sorry, ya nos pasamos. No, cabalito estamos, yes. Perdón. Estaba bien entusiasmado aquí con la conversación, right? Ok, good. Eh, esto vamos a ver mañana, chicos. Solo vamos a, a escuchar el audio y terminamos la clase. Listen, please. Page 37, exercise 4. Grammar focus. Simple present statements. I walk to school. I don't live far from here. You ride your bike to school. You don't live near here. He works near here. He doesn't work downtown. She takes the bus to work. She doesn't drive to work. We live with our parents. We don't live alone. They use public transportation. They don't need a car. Don't equals do not. Doesn't equals does not. Okay, in summary, right? In resumen, in summary, we have here the 
affirmative sentences, subject, verb, and complement. And the negative, I don't, she doesn't, she doesn't, right? And notice that when we use he or she, we add an extra S to the verb. So we don't say he works, but he works. She takes, no, she takes. But when we use the auxiliary, right, the verb doesn't change. Pero cuando ya usamos el auxiliar, el verbo ya no cambia. Understand? So we're going to see this tomorrow. Mañana seguimos con esto, chicos. Eh, solo quiero anunciar dos cosas. Eh, Glenda, no sé si puede quedarse conmigo 10 minutos extra. Sí, teacher. Yes, ok. Thank you, Glenda. Ok. Eh, para el viernes no se le olvide que hay que terminar la plataforma, la unidad 2. La unidad 2. Ahora ya pueden empezar a hacer la unidad, la lección 6, la tarea 6. ¿Verdad? Y así vamos a ir sucesivamente. Si hay preguntas, recuérdense que ahí está el WhatsApp. Ahí estoy a sus órdenes. Si no les contesto inmediatamente, por lo menos en algún momento durante el día les puedo contestar. ¿Sí? Si hay alguna duda. ¿Ok? ¿Any extra question? ¿Hay alguna no pregunta? Question, no questions. Good. Eh, ya les tomé la asistencia. Inclusive los oyentes ya están tomados en cuenta la asistencia. ¿Ok? So have a good night. See you tomorrow. Solo me quedo con Glenda. See you. See you. Bye-bye. Sure. Have you. a good night. Bye-bye. God bless you. God bless bye you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Good night, everybody. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye, Griselda. Bye. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Okay, Glenda, welcome. Hola. <laughs> uh, do you have any question about any topic? ¿Hay alguna pregunta sobre algún tema que no le haya quedado claro? Por el momento no. No, no. Eh, ¿Cómo no. sintió esto del, del presente simple, afirmativo, negativo? ¿Ya lo había visto antes o...? Lo había visto, pero cuando estaba en la universidad. Oh. <laughs> Hace unos, quiero ver, unos ocho años quizás. Ah, ocho años. <laughs> o más. Sí. Y para mí usted acaba de graduar. No, qué galán. No, no. Me gradué en el 2015. 2015, mire cómo pasa el tiempo, ¿verdad? Eh, uh -huh. Bueno, a, a nosotros en la universidad nos dan unos folletes así nada más, ¿ve? a traducir nada más, <ríe> si no me recuerdo. Sí. En bachillerato sí me acuerdo que nos vendían un libro ahí, donde uno iba completando ahí el libro. Pero así en clases nunca lo estudié yo, solo, solo hasta la universidad, nada más. Ajá, yo solo Ajá. vi inglés uno, inglés dos, pero Ajá. fueron como el, el primer año, creo. De ahí quise, ay, yo soy en la nacional. Ah, eh, me too, también somos ahí, U.S. Ajá, entonces quería en CNU, no sé si cuando sí, usted sí, estaba sí, existía. Sí. En... Todavía existe, me... creo. Existe Ajá, me inscribí, pero en eso estaba en la tesis y que eh, estaba trabajando. No me daba el tiempo, es mentira. Sí. No, era como prioridad la tesis o estudiar inglés. Ya no pude seguir. Oh. Solo hice como un, porque era como un semestre, creo. No me recuerdo ya ni cómo era. Sí, mensual, mensual. Pero ajá, me imagino ajá, que estuve unos tres meses, me imagino que. Ajá. Okay. Ahí creo que vi también eso de, eh, porque lo más básico, sí. ¿verdad? Tu vi, eh, la forma del do y el das, así lo veía, así me recordaba yo, la forma yeah. del do y el das, y los verbos irregulares, irregulares. Ajá, cuando es el pasado simple. Ajá. En el, pasado, el, pasado. Sí. Ajá. El, en el presente, como que en regular y regulares no, no mucho, ¿verdad? Lo, uh -huh. lo único que cambia es, es el have y el has. El go y el goes y el do y el das, nada más. Entonces, esos serían los que los irregulares, pero como son poquitos. Ajá, ajá. pero. Sí, este... yo tengo en memoria eso y lo del ING también, ¿verdad? Ah, que es el, ya el present continuous. Ajá, present continuous, ajá. El es... present progressive, sí, muy ajá, bien. Pero como ya tenía ya tiempos, la verdad que solo es como así, como un chispazo, ¿verdad? Que tenía. Sí, ok, muy mm. bien. Pero hasta ahorita lo que hemos visto, ¿le quedó claro? O... Sí. Sí, me ha quedado claro. Sí, para mí creo yo que lo que podría costar es aprenderse de memoria las reglas. Ajá, las reglas, las cuatro reglas. Ajá. Correcto. Ahí la puedo ir practicando. Correcto. Y ahí escucho a Mario que dice que le cuesta 
determinar cuándo es doesn't y cuándo es don't. No sé si a usted le cuesta eso. No, eso sí me quedó, me quedó claro. Uh -huh. Más que todo, yo siento que lo confundo, lo que confunde es que cuando es singular y cuando es plural, ¿verdad? Entonces, cuando dice my brothers, decimos don't. Pero cuando digo Ajá. solo un hermano, my brother doesn't, ¿verdad? Porque solo es un hermano. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Así yo que creo ahí... que también se confundió porque cuando hay que agregar ese a, lo, a los uh -huh. verbos y cuando ya, ¿no? Porque creo sí, que ahí sí. lo vi un poco confundido. Sí, y, 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 y bueno, me gusta que me expresen esas dudas porque así yo, yo veo cómo, cómo es rellenando, ¿verdad? Así que si usted uh -huh. tiene alguna duda, siempre por favor pregúnteme, que a mí me, me gusta mucho que me pregunten porque así me quedo con la conciencia tranquila. Así, todos entendieron. Sí, <risa> okay. ajá, sí. Así que, gracias. ¿verdad? Y gracias por participar también. Eh, en el caso del verbo to be, me imagino que es más fácil todavía para usted. Sí. Ajá, ese su, estuvo fácil. ¿Y lo de los posesivos? También los posesivos, sí. Ah, ok. El, con los posesivos yo creo que es más fácil. ¿va? Lo que uh -huh. cuesta a veces es con el possessive nouns. Que a uh -huh. veces uno, uno no sabe eh, si se le pone la, la apóstrofe y la S. En el Ajá, plural, por, ejem por ejemplo, cuando es plural, de doctor's house, por ejemplo. La casa de los doctores. Solo le pone el apóstrofe al, al final, no le pone una S. ¿no? Uh -huh. Y cuando son varios, se le pone la, el apóstrofe y la S al último. Al último, a cuando ya son, ¿Sí? que quiere nombrar tres. Uh -huh. Ok, ¿y el alfabeto? Me costó un poquito, pero ahí lo he estado practicando. Ah, va, está bien. Por ahí uh -huh. les mandé un video, una cancioncita. Sí, uh -huh. sí, mi niño también está estudiando inglés. Entonces fue como que que él ya eh, lleva como dos meses y fue que a mí me preguntaba y yo me quedaba y no, yo le digo, me voy a meter porque yo no me recuerdo. Bien, buena <ríe> me voy a poner decisión. yo también para entonces, ayudarle. Entonces ahorita <ríe> acaba de adquirir un compromiso con el inglés. Oiga, si es que sí. no lo suelte, no lo no, suelte. No, no lo voy a soltar. Pero le, le ha parecido la clase, porque recuerda que no es lo mismo estar presencial que virtual, ¿verdad? Entonces algunas personas como que... No, la verdad que es bien dinámica, porque participamos y creo que eso ayuda también, porque por la hora también, ¿verdad? El sí, cansancio eso. del día, del trabajo y eso. En ese, ya no venimos un... con las mismas neuronas que despertamos. Es bueno tomarse un frupsi para... Entonces, ya a esta hora ya están quemadas, ya casi que todas. Sí, es cierto. Pero bueno. lo importante es hacer el, el esfuerzo, ¿verdad? Correcto, sí. Y uh -huh. eh, yo les he mandado unos videos ahí al grupo de WhatsApp, así que si puede, no está relacionado con la clase, pero eh, le puede ayudar para practicar, oiga. Sí. Sí, y, y también este, escuchen música en inglés, uh -huh. las películas no las pongan en español, sino que en inglés, y ya que tiene un niño, pues eh, vean las películas en inglés juntos. Sí, así, sí, ahí nos estamos poniendo porque él, como ellos ven diferente, ¿verdad? Sí. De diferente forma, pero el alfabeto sí, ellos también ya lo vieron porque él solo recibe los sábados y yo soy como pendiente porque está pequeño, apenas tiene siete años. Ah, oh, está chiquito. Entonces, este, Pensé que tenía unos doce años, doce, dije yo, no. No, está pero fíjese que le gusta, le gusta. Entonces póngale, mire, a mí me gustan las películas de Sin, los animalitos uh -huh. que salen cantando, hay do, dos películas de Sin, ahí póngaselas en inglés para que las, o, o los sí. pets, las historias de las mascotas, pets, Ajá. esas The películas pets. son bien bonitas, Entonces, póngaselas en inglés, ya va a ver que ambos van a disfrutar, oiga. Sí, ahí estamos queriendo aprender algo nuevo los dos. Está perfecto. Ok, Glenda, no sé si hay alguna pregunta extra. No, teacher. ¿Todo está bien? Sí. Okay, good. So I hope to see you bueno. tomorrow. See you tomorrow, right? God bless you. Have a good night. Good night. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye.